On Madagascar's west coast, by the Mozambique Channel, a bar of white sand runs alongside an emerald green lagoon for over 100 kilometers. This is the home of Vezo, a new destination for lovers of deserted beaches and crystal clear waters. The new bungalows will be here. How many are you adding? Five bungalows. Right on the beach? Yes, and maybe a suite. Sonia is organizing the tourist season, and she has come to see Michel and Philippe Kotsoyanis. The couple have lived in Madagascar since 1993. A trained architect, Philippe was looking for somewhere to build an environmental hotel. When I discovered this place, I didn't look any further. It was just what I was looking for. It was even better than I'd imagined. I had no idea, even though I knew Madagascar, such places existed. So we stopped here. Here, tourist activities revolve around the sea. Lazing on the beach, swimming, and trips in traditional dugouts to visit the Vaso fishermen. The word Vezo means he who paddles. The Vezo live off the ocean's resources. They fish out at sea by following the shoals or in the lagoon on traditional dugouts with outriggers. The men surround the shoal with their boats and close in on the fish. These remarkable free divers hunt for fish underwater without flippers and spear them with assegais. A little way inland, the track cuts through a forest of prickly shrubs. Philippe is taking Sonia to discover a botanical curiosity. These are classic baobabs, the type you see most often. Those we're going to see are spectacular. Mm, they're already big and leafy. The baobab is by far the strangest tree on earth. Its branches resemble roots. Some people even say it grows upside down, or that God planted it that way. Let's have a look at these. It's a fabulous group. An entire family. They're squat, but very wide. Yes, at the base. Madagascar is very definitely the home of the baobab. Six of the nine known species in the world grow on the main island alone. The sun will soon set over the horizon. It's time to call it a day. 
With the wind behind them, the fishermen hoist their sails for the journey home. The entire village turns out on the beach for the fishermen's return. The women come to collect the evening meal. Any remaining fish is gathered up and sold in the villages inland. <laughs> If there is one Malagasy word that travelers will remember, it is mora mora, slowly, slowly. The Malagasy way of life, full of gentleness, kindness, and a pleasant nonchalance. Thank mm -hmm. you.